Hey, welcome to Flying Wheels and flipping $400 into a Ferrari where I took an initial investment of just $400, bought one car and rolled it into another car, into another car, into another car, where I am currently at a 2008 Jeep Wrangler and $1,500. So I purchased a Jeep Wrangler for $8,000. I have about $500 into it, which equals $8,500, and $1,500 left. Today, we're going to the auction. I'm gonna take you to a dealer auction. It is tax time. Right now is when you should already be owning all of your cheap cars. When people get those tax checks, they cannot wait to spend them. As soon as they get that money, it's gone. So you should have your inventory stocked up already. If you're a flipper, you should be having cheap cars under four or $5,000 to sell as soon as people get those tax checks because I'm already getting calls. So today I have $1,500. We're going to the auction to see what we can come up with. Now I should be spending around a thousand because I'm anticipating a $500 investment in repairs and time and everything. So I have about a thousand dollars to spend plus the $500 buffer. I'm going to take you to the auction with me. And we're going to shop around. Let's get going. Hey, we have some fun stuff this week. We got we have a convertible Stingray, Focus ST, I've owned so many of those things. They're actually a really fun four-cylinder car. And then this Audi TT, is it an Audi TTS? This is an Audi TT RS. Whoa, that is a nasty, nasty car. Wow. Hey, my name is Craig from Flying Wheels and welcome to Flipping $400 into a Ferrari. You are at a dealer only auction with me today. I'm gonna to take you alongside with me. We are in the market for a thousand to $1,500 car today. I am actually in the market for a lot of vehicles. I have to really, really bulk up my inventory. We sold a lot of cars already this month, so I need to renew everything. So I'm not just buying a $1,500 car. I'm gonna take you with me to the auction and show you what's around, what we're looking at, and what we end up with today, as well as what we pay for it. Now the way the auction works is anything over 10 years or 100,000 miles is sold red light, meaning as is, no arbitrations, I can't do anything about it unless it has frame damage. So if I buy anything over 100,000 miles, it's automatically as is. Under 100,000 miles, um, under 10 years, it's actually 11 years, they go by manufacture date, is green light. Now I'm not going to recap the entire Ferrari series. A lot of people don't feel like watching four or five minutes of recap videos. So if you wanna see where we're at so far, you can click the link above or wait to the playlist at the end to follow where we're at up to this point. So today we have $1,500 to spend. Now it's tax season right now. Tax season means everybody is getting a little bit of cash. Anybody that needs the cash is going to get it and they can't wait to spend it. They just get that money and they can't hang on to it. They have to spend it. So I wanna be the one that they spend it on. So that's what we're shopping for today. Not just the $1,500 cars, we're looking for more tax season cars as well. And that's what you should be doing if you're a dealer or into flipping cars yourself. So let's start the search. Now this would do it right here. This is a 2000 Pontiac Bonneville. These things are actually really, really nice cars. Leather interior, these were loaded up and really nice back when they first came out. Let's see what lights are on. 152,000 miles. And this 3.8 liter actually isn't that bad. You have to worry about intake manifold gaskets in these engines, but they're pretty solid. No check engine lights. Look at how big that dash panel is. Cassette player for the old fashioned people that still want to plug their phones into the cassette and slide it in. This car is pretty clean and runs great. So we're gonna, we're gonna put this on our radar, but being a 2000 in New England, it could get really rusty. So let's check the rust first. I'm gonna climb underneath. Actually, this car is unbelievably clean. Why does it look like this? There's no way. There is no way this car came from New Hampshire. We have a little bit of spray paint right there, so somebody repaired something. Oh, this is gonna be, this could be a winner. This car is so clean. Now at the auction, I can't really drive these things. I can put it into drive. I can put it in reverse. If there's no one around, I can go and maybe feel it shift from first to second, but that's about it. But this car is a score and I'm gonna show you why. First of all, look at the bottoms of these doors. They're absolutely perfect. This would rust so bad in New England if this is where it was from. Going to this side too, same here, no rust. And these dog legs are perfect here as well. And then check out the trunk space. This is gonna be a car that I'm bidding on. I can also scan the VIN right here and it comes up with a full history report. So it'll tell me one owner, one accident, and most of the time, if these are common cars, which this isn't anymore, it will tell me what it's worth as well. 
Here we go, 07 Scion TC. I sell a ton of these things, 186,000 miles. It's a ton of miles, but for a Toyota, whoa, this thing is clean. 186,000 miles is rough, but we have to think, Toyotas sell quickly even with high miles. No lights on in the dash. Has a current Massachusetts State Inspection sticker. This could be a score too. It's really dull on the outside, but white, number one, is easy to touch up and it also buffs out really, really well. So I'm gonna check tires, I'll check fluids. I'll again, put it in drive and reverse. But at this price range, we have to think tax season. When people have just a little bit of money, Toyotas are the ones to sell. Yes, I could buy a cheap Cadillac or something, but what does the market want? What's going to sell during tax season? You have to think of the demographic that's gonna buy a vehicle. A cheap Toyota will sell in a heartbeat, but they're always expensive for that reason. So even this, with 186,000 miles being 14 years old, might still be too much money. We'll check out this 03 excursion, 166,000 miles limited. Is it a diesel? Nah, it's a V10 bummer. These things are worth a ton of money, but I already have a V10. And they're gigantic. Family school buses that'll tow a freaking camper, or it'll pull your house down if you wanted to. If you can find these in a diesel, they're worth so much money. Even the V10 is because they're workhorses that can fit three, six, eight, eight people and more if you really wanted to squeeze them in. But it's a gasser and I already have one. So I went skiing with my family all last week while I was on vacation. Here's a quick clip. So for that reason, I didn't make it to the auction. We sold a bunch of cars while I was gone and now I need to stock up. So that's why I'm at the auction today, not just buying that $1,500 car. I really need to fill up my inventory. The other reason is why the Ferrari flip is going so slow is because that's a part-time gig. That's a side hustle. That's what I'm trying to show you. You can have your regular job, which I do. I have multiple jobs and then still have your side hustle, your side gig, your hobby that makes you some money on the side. It's going to go slower. Obviously, if I could focus all my time on that one car and keep rolling them over, I would have owned that Ferrari. Now I've made that money 10 times over in the car dealership, but I run the car dealership and I'm doing the Ferrari that I have to focus on and make videos for. So it's very time consuming. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. See this car, Pontiac Vibe? It's actually a Toyota Matrix. This is a Toyota car L licensed by Pontiac. So everything is Toyota. Oh, it's dead. It's an 04 with 119,000 miles. So yes, you're buying a Pontiac, but you can market it as a Toyota and pull in a lot more buyers. So these actually have a pretty decent value. It's a weird thing. Saab did it with Subaru and the WRX and the Impreza. Saab did it with GM and the Trailblazer and the 97X. And Toyota even did it with their Supra and the BMW. That's a BMW car. A lot of manufacturers actually license the vehicles and then change just the appearance packages to make it their own. But this is a Toyota. So this will be something that I'd be interested in. Oh man, is that what I think it is over there? I already own one, but I, but I wouldn't mind having two. I think that's a Cadillac CTSV. Coupe, yes it is. 2015 with 34,000 miles. This is an amazing car. I already own one, but this one's actually cleaner than mine. Oh my goodness. It's in the repo lane, so it's repossessed. Let's see if it starts. These things never... Oh my goodness. I could own two CTSVs. I wouldn't mind that. This car is incredible. Typically that pops up. Let's see if it pops up. Heated air conditioned seats. This is a 6.2 liter supercharged V8 with 551 horsepower. It's a lead sled though. It weighs 4,500 pounds, but honestly it has more power than the Z06. And it's comfortable and it has back seats. This car is amazing. It's the epitome of like sports car luxury and muscle. So I hope I end up with this thing today. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. There we go. This one's actually cleaner than the one I own. That video is coming out next, I think. Oh man, I just scanned the VIN and look at title came up. One accident, title problem. So it has a reconstructed title. This probably means reconstructed title, stolen, recovered, like flood. It could be anything. You have no idea why. And I don't have an... I don't have a Carfax, I just use auto check, so I can't figure out what's wrong with it. I'm gonna have to go in and purchase an auto check for it that will tell me the history. Oh yeah, yes, I'm in an autos. Um, don't judge me. So let's go check out that Cadillac again. Oh, it's so beautiful. I don't even care that it's reconstructed title. Look at this paint. It's beautiful. 
why? Now we have to go find out what's wrong with it. That is so incredible. It's such an amazing car. I hope I leave with this today. I walked away and I'm just thinking there's no one around. I should drive this thing as clean as it is. I really don't know why it's reconstructed, so I should take it for a ride and really see what's going on with it. Make sure it shifts at least. What if it was in, in a flood and now we're having electrical issues? And it smells perfect. There's no must. One, two, there's first gear and second gear. And it doesn't say there's an odometer problem, so that is the actual mileage. Oh, look right here. We have a Z and a Camaro too. And then we'll check reverse. And then we're good to go. I want this car. I already own one and I still want this car. Now at most auctions, you can actually go in and purchase an auto check history report for like this one's $5 here, they charge me. So it's worth it. I have the brief auto check history report, which tells me like how many owners, how many accidents, if it has a clean title, if the odometer is accurate, but it doesn't give me a detailed description. So if I want that, like on that car, I just go request it, pay the $5, they charge my, my account and then I get one. Oh man, could this be my car for the day? Is it? Is this my $1,500 car? Let's check this out. This is a 98 Audi A4. Is it a 2.8? Uh, yes, it is. 2.8 Quattro. Is it a five speed? Yes, it is. When I was in high school, I wanted this car so bad. And my friend ended up getting a car loan and getting one of these. And we used to take it up skiing every winter. I love these cars. Five speed, let's see if it starts. It runs. I might bid on this. I like this car. It's old, it's dated, but these are actually really reliable. These are great cars, a 2.8 engine, a great engine, as long as the valve covers aren't leaking. And in a five speed is what I'd want it in. And then obviously you have the Quattro all wheel drive. These cars are amazing, especially up in New England. Let's see if we have the books. Ah, we even have the books, the leather. Look at how it's blue floors, the blue trim. We have the beige or tan leather, also with the blue accents. These things are so nice. And they're pretty peppy and they had like a nice little growl to them in the 2.8 liter. Oh man, I hope I get this. And this should be under $1,500, I think. Well, the auction already started, so let's head in and see what we end up with. Two hours later. I just bought that Audi. <laughs> oh man, I wish that G8 was a V8. It's a six cylinder. That was like the replacement for the Bonneville and Grand Prix. And it came in an eight cylinder, which is a nasty car. It also replaced the GTO. So it's like a combination of the three cars together. Bought this Armada today. Not looking promising that it's not moving very well though. Didn't get a chance to look at it. Oh no, there it goes. Okay, that might have been a score. That Bonneville ended up selling for $1,900, which is more than I want to pay for it, but it's probably worth it. So I found a friend that has a Carfax report. He ran the report for me on the CTSV. That thing was in a, an accident, but it said minor impact on the side and front, and then it ran through a salvage auction. So maybe that's why it was salvage title, because it ran through a salvage auction, and then the history report shows that up. Cars perfect. Luckily, it's no flood damage, so I'm about to go bid on it right now. All right, I got into a bidding war, unfortunately. I think I paid way too much for that CTSV, but it's nicer than the CTSV that I already have, and I kind of want to keep it for myself. So let's go check that one out. I just ended up getting that one, and I got a bunch of other cars too today. Oh man, there's something about these Audis that I love. This is an A3S line, but look at how nice these are. Huh. I like that red trim. Nice cars. Here we go. My CTSV. This car is so mint. Look at the fleck paint. The metallic paint is beautiful. Now my other one is an 11 and it's just black. It's a gloss black. It's beautiful. And I actually like the interior of my 11 more, but this metallic paint is incredible in the sun. Look at that shine. Wow. And then we have the staggered 19 inch wheels and obviously door handleless door, just like the Corvettes. Now, the Carfax showed an impact to the front here and here, but these body lines are perfect. Body lines are perfect. Obviously, it must have been repainted. I mean, Carfax doesn't lie, 
But the good thing is it's not in a flood, it's not a theft, it was hit. And then it ran through a salvage auction. And anytime it runs through a salvage auction, it gets reported in the Carfax and the auto check and the history reports as salvage. So it could just be because it ran through the auction because I'm telling you, the Carfax said minor impact. So good news for me. And I just sold my Audi S7. That's going to Tennessee. And my Corvette is gonna show up God knows when. So until my 2021 Corvette convertible shows up, this will be my car, unless somebody wants to buy it. Well, the auction's over and I spent close to $80,000 today. And there's so much like hustle and bustle that I actually forget everything that I bought. I can tell you I bought that CTSV, which I am crazy pumped about. And I'm also, and I also bought that Audi A4, which I'm equally as pumped about, ironically. All right, I paid $850 for the Audi plus the auction fee. So I'm into it for a total of $995. So that leaves me $500. What did I have? $1,500 to spend. Yeah, right. So I spent $1,000 on the Audi with the auction fees. I have $500 to play. So let's go check that one out. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. How did I miss that fender? How did I not see this section of the car? I must have gotten too excited. Saw it from here. Ran over. Current inspection sticker. That's amazing. I must have done this. Yep. 2.8. And then opened it up and got inside. I never freaking did a walk around on this car. Dang it. I'm never going to match that pearl paint. I'm going to try, but I'm never going to match that pearl paint. Whatever. It was a thousand bucks. I can't complain. Let's see if it starts the second time. Oh, I love this car. <laughs> this, forget the CTSV. This might have been the buy of the day. <laughs> I love these cars for some reason. And it even came with a half a tank of gas. Now these things are peppy. This is like whip your head back in your seat. Now in the 90s, cars weren't really that fast. I mean, you can get a Mustang and a Camaro that were loud, but they still weren't even that fast. They were like 240 horsepower at the most, unless you're getting a Cobra. So these Audis, you're getting a German car, budget car. It was an entry level Audi, but it was all wheel drive and it was crazy comfortable with all the amenities for short money. And I have one, <laughs> an old one. <laughs> That's what makes me happy. So here's the big thing. That is a New Hampshire state inspection sticker. If you have seen any of my videos regarding New Hampshire state inspections, we are incredibly strict and rigorous. Our inspections are no joke. Ball joints, tie rods, brake lines, power steering lines, fuel lines, tires, everything, emissions, everything you can think of. Actually, this is exempt from emissions because it's over 20 years old. Everything you can think of, we check on a car. So if you're getting a car with a New Hampshire state inspection sticker, you're getting one of the most safest cars on the road. That includes rust. We check for rust as well. This, I guess, is where my additional $500 is going. So we'll probably be 125 into a trico paint job and then a detail. But the fact that it's already inspected says a lot. And not re and not like inspected a year ago. It was inspected in August, it's February. So what, six months ago it was inspected, five, six months ago? Which means somebody went through it six months ago, which is great. All right, let's go see what else we bought because I don't even remember. So while I was here at the auction this morning, I got a little bit of insider information. One of the lot guys, the lot manager, thank you very much, told me there's a Trailblazer SS around here somewhere in inventory. The title isn't in yet, so they're waiting. So soon there's gonna be another Trailblazer SS running through. So I'm gonna go check that one out too. I think I found it way back there. Can you tell by the vents? Yep, there it is. That would be a Trailblazer SS, an 07 with 164,000 miles. Let's check this thing out. Yep, leather suede combo, Grant steering wheel. Wait a minute, no Grant steering wheel? SS seats, SS leather suede in the rear. Does say SS right there. Huh, that's funny. My other one had an SS Grant, had a Grant steering wheel. Has the wheels, but it looks like somebody took the badges off right there. It's usually badged on the back as well. There it is, right there. Question is, you know the game, will it start? No start, battery stone dead. Well, it's not running through this week anyway, it's running next week, so I'm gonna check this one out. I'm gonna keep this one on my list. Speaking of that Trailblazer SS, shout out to Randy at Auto Auction Rebuilds. He has a channel similar to mine, so if you guys aren't following me, go check him out too. He gave me a shout out last week, so people helping people. Appreciate that. Go check out Randy at Auto Auction Rebuilds. I bought this as well. This is a 17 Suburban with 119,000 miles. This is the damage, so I bought it fairly discounted because of that. That's pretty ugly. 
but I think that's repairable. That's something we can handle. Does it have DVD player? Gross in here, but you gotta go love weather techs. Nav. Huh. I was planning on giving it to my wife, but no DVD player, and it has no captain's chairs in the middle. My kids will kill each other, uh, and they'll climb over those seats. So this is my take for the day. 17 Suburban. We have some body work to do right here. 14 Silverado. We have some body work to do right here. 10 Nissan Armada that's actually pretty mint. And it's the uh, SV, so it has like leather, nav, DVD. My baby, my new toy, my Cadillac CTSV is too wide, both forward and reverse, on my trailer. It just spins the wheels up here, and I don't want to scuff the rims. So I'm leaving it here, I'm getting it transported and my $1,000 car, the Audi, is going on the trailer and going back to the shop. Whew, it's freaking cold out. All right, so here's how it works. The auction, you almost never get anything perfect. These cars were traded into new car dealers for some reason or another. Some of them have been misused, some of them have been abused, some have dents, dings, or mechanical repairs. So we have to bring them all back to the shop, we have to go through them all, repair them, clean them, so fix it. So what I do is basically buy, fix, clean, sell. And I just keep repeating the process. But in this video, it's all about that Audi. That was the $1,500 car, $1,000 car. So I still have a $500 buffer, remember that. So I have an 08 Jeep Wrangler, that's pretty amazing. And now I have a 98 Audi A4 and I still have $500 left, all off that original $400. So now I'm gonna get all these cars transported back to the shop. The next video I think I'm going to do on my two Cadillac CTSVs, so stay tuned. Those should be the next videos because my other CTSV is almost done. Otherwise, if you haven't subscribed yet, do me a favor, subscribe down below. If you hit the bell, you get notifications every time I make a new video. You can subscribe to us and make sure to give me a thumbs up. That's a favor for me, so the algorithm boosts it to other people so my channel grows so I can make better videos for you guys. I'll see you all later. Thanks for watching. Adios.